Hey, welcome back to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. If you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We'd greatly appreciate if you'd purchase your next watch from us at Jazztime.com. Today we'll be taking a look at a Rolex day date. This one, the day date 36, reference number 128238. I'll be going over the aspects of this watch, the case, the bezel, dial the crown functions as well as the movement and the bracelet all yellow gold here with the fluted bezel and the white dial with the roman numeral arrow marks again the reference number for this one one two eight two three eight uh, all right so starting off with the case 36 millimeters in diameter from finger to thumb the two to eight o'clock position also the ten to four o'clock position same 36 millimeters same diameter both ways. It's in the name, Day Date 36. You have the monoblock metal case with the screw down case back and the Rolex winding crown to ensure water resistance down to 100 meters or 330 feet below sea level. You have an overall nice high polish for the entire case here, as you can see, even evident on the front of the case, as you can see on these lugs, tapering down nicely to the bracelet. Sitting on the very front of the case, an equally high polish uh, yellow gold fluted bezel. All of these, all this yellow gold that you see here, uh, created from oyster steel and yellow gold in order to create both not a not just a uh, highly uh, luminous highly uh, lustrous uh, yellow gold but also a very strong yellow gold thanks to the oyster steel which is a combination of steel and other minerals to make it extremely strong so quite durable uh, in the hands uh, in any case and sitting here on the front here we have a white dial here with a set of Roman numeral hour marks for the uh, the hour indicators here with a minute track as you can see at the very edge of the dial you have also uh, the long four the large four for the Roman numerals nicely balanced against the Roman numeral net Roman numeral eight a very good design choice there from Rolex also note that the number eleven hour mark is not actually XI it's actually just a single Roman numeral hour mark for the number one gives it a very nice sense of balance. You probably won't even notice it unless I actually point it out to you. So as long as you don't really know that it is a one and not an XI, I think we're, we're good there. So anyway, uh, onto the uh, functionality of the watch here. Simply unwind the crown at the three o'clock position. This allows you to wind the watch. So at the base position for the winding crown, uh, just simply wind the watch. About 20 to 30 full winds will get you to the full power reserve. So once you start feeling the damping and the resistance starting to ramp up, that's when you know you can stop because you've reached the full power reserve. Rather simple there. Pull the crown out to the next position. Note that you can actually advance the date forward nice and quickly using the quick set rapid date or the rapid quick set. Uh, and it's unrestricted, meaning that you can do so at any time of the day, uh, close to midnight, just after midnight, no harm done to the movement. Rotating it clockwise advances the date, while advancing the day at the 12 o'clock aperture can be done by rotating the, the crown counterclockwise, only going forward, of course. All right, and once you've done that, that works nice and easily there. Once you've set those properly, actually, if you set it to the day before, you can then pull the crown out to the final position, stopping that second's hand, giving you that hacking function, so that you can then advance the minute hand and by extension the hour hand as well and so doing doing so uh, setting all of these to the day before allows you to then advance it all forward so that you know exactly which side of the 12 uh, hour cycle you're on or rather the 24 hour cycle because it's a 12 hour dial and you don't know whether it's a.m. or p.m. just do so like that as I just demonstrated and once you've got the minute hand or the hours day and the date set nicely you can simply set the minute hand based on the position of that seconds hand wait for an atomic clock to roll around press it back in to start up that seconds hand once more and screw the crown back tightly against the case to ensure the water resistance of the watch all right so what makes all of this work it is the caliber 3255 made in-house by rolex you can't see through the case back but you do have that added gold content solid gold content so you have your money's worth there it gives you the plus or minus two second per day time differential after case and giving you the superlative chronometer certification as printed on this and every rolex dial 
You have the center hour minute and seconds hands with the instantaneous day and the date in their restricted apertures at the 12 and 3 o'clock positions with the unrestricted rapid setting. You also have the stop seconds for precise time setting. All those features I just demonstrated using the Rolex Winding Crown. By the way, the day aperture nicely magnified under the Cyclops lens, which is part of the Sapphire Crystal, nice and scratch resistant. So you always have a clear view of the dial. All right, back to the movement. The movement also features a paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring with high performance paraflex shock absorbers, meaning that you can get relatively close to magnets and you can actually take some physical bumps here and there and it won't make any difference uh, to the timekeeping ability of the movement on the inside. So very good engineering from Rolex there. You also have a bi-directional self-winding perpetual rotor center mounted on the inside. And so basically what that means is that you can just simply wind the crown uh, manually using the winding crown as I showed earlier. But what you can also do is just simply wear the watch and simply wearing the watch allows you to wind the watch automatically by simply having your wrist move uh, the the perpetual winding rotor on the inside will rotate or revolve about the center allowing you to then wind the mainspring barrel which charges the power reserve. The power reserve for this watch approximately 70 hours at a time so meaning that you can basically set this down on Friday evening pick it back up Monday morning the following week no need to wind the watch just wear it all day Monday and you'll be back to the full power reserve nice and easy there. And while I'm zoomed out here you can also see that we do have the president bracelet uh, basically this is the pretty much the only bracelet you can get on the day dates these days. Uh, this one, the president bracelet becoming sort of a, enjoying the best of both worlds in terms of the Oyster and the Jubilee bracelets, both from Rolex. The Oyster bracelet, the strength from the uh, sportier Oyster bracelet, the three-piece link across assembly evident here with the high polish down the center links and the satin brush finish on the outer links, but the uh, the comfort of the Jubilee bracelet giving you the sort of semicircular appearance for these links, but also having the spacing of the Jubilee bracelet making it very, not just an easy wear, but a very comfortable wear as well. You also have a gentle taper down to the uh, concealed folding crown clasp. So as you can see here, you can't see the clasp on the outside except for the Rolex crown here. So to open it up, just simply lift from the top of the crown that unhooks it nice and easy. You have the full Rolex logo on the inside, the stamped logo there with a full gold construction as you can see. All right, and so when you have this here, I can actually try it on give you my thoughts as to how it wears on my wrist, seven inches in circumference. All right, and so if you know me from my videos here on this channel, you'll know that 36 millimeters is to me the, the sort of sweet spot for Rolex models. And that's because not only does the case give a very good presentation of the bracelet as well, giving a nice framing from the 12 and six o'clock sides of the watch itself, but the dial also, is extremely legible. Not only are the uh, each of the hour marks nicely spaced apart, they're also a very nice size. So they're basically the same size as they would be on a 31 millimeter model, but very, uh, and also the same size as they would be on say the Date 40 models. But the Date 40 models I feel have a little bit extra space around these hour marks that to me just feel a little bit extra. Nothing wrong with right, with literal white space here on this dial, but certainly uh, I like having everything nicely spaced apart. And here, the spacing on the 36 millimeter dials just works for me very nicely. Looking at it straight down the wrist, hardly any space under the lugs feels very good on the wrist because, well, you do have the President bracelet. President bracelet, again, combining the best of the Oyster and Jubilee bracelets. When it comes to the feel, feels just like a Jubilee bracelet, but it certainly has that strength and the heft of an Oyster bracelet. And also, these uh, links basically have zero tolerance among them, meaning that Rolex designed this uh, basically for the entire lifetime of the watch. This bracelet will never actually pinch your skin, won't pull hairs out, always feels comfortable, F looks excellent on the outside, feels even better on the inside. And again, taking a look here at the front, of this watch. And many would say that this would probably be the basic starting point for a day date. And you know, I don't disagree. It's certainly a very good entry point into the world of Rolex day dates. But I would say that this is very much, uh, if you're 
If you're sort of aiming for the all gold presentation, if you only wear gold watches, for example, and you only collect gold watches, this would probably be your everyday wear. This one's sort of, you know, definitely aimed toward the higher echelons of the watch collecting community. And, you know, certainly if you want to have an all gold uh, collection, you can certainly get that. And this one being sort of, uh, sort of considered a base model in the day date line this one's an excellent place to start uh, an excellent place to enter into the higher levels of the day date uh, or the rolex catalog in general because day dates are very nice they feel very good and they have all that extra functionality that a lot of other uh just a little a little step above the day just line as well so a very good entry point and if you don't have one of these it's it's an excellent one to fill in on the collection anyway but that's all I have to say about this watch. What do you guys know? Or what do you guys think about this watch? Let us know down in the comments below what you think about this Rolex date. Uh, day date 36 with the white Roman dial, all yellow gold here with the fluted bezel as well with on the president bracelet. Reference number again, 128238. Uh, if you happen to enjoy this video, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And as always, if you like to purchase a swatch, new, used, discontinued, whatever, or any other watch, just visit our website at jazztime.com. Links in the description below where you can get it for the lowest possible price anywhere online. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on the mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.